Hi Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I post every day, bringing you the latest updated tarot reading. In this reading, we're gonna get you some important love messages that you need to hear right now. Today is the twenty seventh of December, twenty twenty three. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is five twenty five a.m. Okay, Virgo, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo important love messages that Virgos need to hear right now. Happy holidays, Virgo. And happy new year. <laughs> I love you guys. And thanks for being here. Virgo, please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and whoever who could be in your love energy field right now. Temperance. Now, temperance can indicate reconciliation, peace, harmony, balance, right? And temperance is an angel. You're such an angel, Virgo. You're such an angel. And the thing is, what I'm seeing here, unless roles are being reversed, okay? Bear in mind that it can. Nine of Swords. So here you are, Virgo. Um crying over something three of swords some of you are crying but virgo this message is for those of you who are now i turn upside down instead i'll take it i'll take it must be a sign we've got the three of swords here again virgo this reading is for those of you i feel going through some issues with your love life okay if your love life is great right now you don't need this message okay now three of swords for those of you who are crying sad feeling really really sad really heartbroken because seven of swords here is in love verse being taken advantage of or being mistreated having to deal with somebody who is um selfish it's a very selfish energy but also can indicate sneakiness deception can be any of those things but if you're feeling sad virgo this nine of swords wasn't enough right and it fell and I picked it up and it turned the other way around. So I feel like that part is going to be over, okay? That part is going to be over soon. If you need to cry, cry to your heart's content, okay? Cry now, but then Eight of Cups right here, Spirits could be saying that, you know, it all will be over. You can walk away from this, okay? You are going to have to step up with the empress uh sorry the emperor not the empress doesn't matter he or she not gender specific some of you are going to become an emperor some of you are going to become an emperor which to me the emperor is like really stepping up right not a cups here in my first understanding that whoever this person is who could be hurting you right now Nine of Cups in my verse, spirits want to tell you that they're not all that anyways. They're not all that anyways. They actually don't even um, tick all of your boxes. If you really, really look carefully, okay? I want you guys to write down the pros and the cons, uh, the good things about this person on the left, and the bad things about this person on the right. Um, if... The bad outweighs the good then you have your answer right there now the nine of cups here in my verse indicates wish that isn't being fulfilled or it could be for some of you virgo you might have thought that this was the person for you but spirits are saying that nine of cups in my verse nah you can do better than this this person is not going to make you feel fulfilled happy this person doesn't even cut it okay um doesn't even really take all of your boxes even if you think they do they don't okay <laughs> this is what i can definitely see um ten of swords here is in my first it's time to release this person because ten of cups is also in my first so what does this say release something that you know in the long run this person is not going to make you happy um, this is an energy, especially when it's in, in reverse, that this 
connection will not be emotionally fulfilling for you. There is basically no future. Okay, Virgo, again, if you're in a good relationship, you're happy, okay, doing your thing, good. That's your reading, okay? I don't want you guys to come into my comment box. Oh, I'm right now happily married, blah, blah, blah. Then don't watch this video, okay? If you're happily married, happily in a relationship, engage whatever i'm happy for you but this reading is for those virgos who are heartbroken right now sad feeling rejected feeling hurt feeling deceived feeling taken advantage of okay the lovers is right here and this tells me something and the thing is the lovers it is supposed to be a card um where it means a choice okay you can actually walk away you have a choice to walk away from this but sometimes i read the lovers as more of a flesh kind of thing you know that kind of attraction where it's flesh based even though the lovers major kana uh, it means a whole lot of thing but from on this on this spread it's it's all about the combination of all the, the the cards, all the other cards. Not just you don't just read from that one card itself. Okay, for those of you who 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 would like to correct me, um, but the lovers right here and the emperor eight of cups and nine of cups and lovers, and the surrounding cards are suggesting that Virgo, this could be a connection where you think you love this person. You think that you think that this is your everything, like this is someone who's gonna make you super happy. But no, no, I don't see it. I feel like Virgo, this love connection, this person who's hurting you right now, is not the love of your life, okay? As much as for some of you, you might think that, or you might believe that, or you might think maybe this person could be the love of my life, but I don't see it. I feel like it's more like a flesh based, F L E S H, okay? Like it's that attraction, because the lovers is a lover, okay? Um, as what it says, you don't call, you don't call somebody who is the love of your life a lover, right? You call that person. The love of your life you call that person what do you call that person let me know in the comment box below if that's the person that you know that is your ride and die the person you're going to be with for the rest of your life what do you call what do you call them that's my true love that's the love of my life that's um uh, my husband that's my wife um what do you what do you call that but definitely not a lover um Whenever you call somebody a lover in today's day and age, okay, let's update the tarot cards because these are definitely not updated. This right away, this is from God knows, long, 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 long time ago, okay. But right now, what do you call somebody when you call somebody, that's my lover? What do you call that? A mistress or somebody you're having a fling with or somebody you have um, an affair with? Okay, because so I feel like this connection is being misconstrued as the love of your life. Um, it is not. Okay, so again, Virgo, I feel like this is the reading for those of you um, feeling heartbroken. Um, so look, death is right here. This is not the one for you. Look, the Empress and the Emperor. Oh my God, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Two swords, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. Mm -mm. Okay, now I'm seeing like another version. Give me a second, let me drink some coffee here. Now, that's a little, because I bought fruits and then there's this fruit fly. Okay. Now, Virgo, Spirit could be saying that you are the Empress and your Emperor. The Emperor is sitting right here. 
it comes in after this separation, after this ending, after you walk away from a situation, from a person. Um, for you, for you to meet the emperor, you have to first walk away from this situation. And it feels a little bit like this second version, it feels a little bit like for those of you Virgo, especially Especially, especially if you are in a third party situation, like a love triangle situation, okay? Because there are three people right here. And there's three swords. And the love is in the seven of swords, which can indicate affairs, again, love triangle situation, or somebody lying, cheating, having a side chick, or having a, a baby mama, baby daddy, all, the, all of those nonsense, right, Virgo? You need to get out of this nonsense. That's what it's saying. Okay. Now I'm seeing it much clearer now than before. Than before these cards came out. Virgo, you have your emperor. The empress and the emperor. Your divine counterpart. Remember, I posted a video not long ago. Check out the rest of the videos. I post them every single day, twice a day. Um, I think... I believe the emperor and the emperor and the empress came out. This is your your divine counterpart. Okay, this is your true match. And um, in one of the readings, they appear together again. So this is the second time it has appeared. So I feel like spirits could be saying you have your perfect match here. Okay, but for those of you embroiled, embroiled in third party situation somebody who is in and out or somebody who is lying cheating all of that nonsense doing stuff behind your back or can't commit all of those nonsense that has got to stop for a go spirit's sake you need to stop that okay walk away eight of cups walk away because you've got the emperor right here now this person the ten of cups in one verse whoever this person is who has been hurting you, make you wait. The, the temperance can get you needing to have a lot of patience, you needing to wait. It's time to walk away. It's time to walk away and release Ten of Swords in reverse. Make that choice to release. And you have someone else, okay? You have someone else here who's coming into your life. And the Queen of Wands, if you are embodying Virgo, if you're the one embodying the Queen of Wands, be confident. Understand your David the Empress here worth your value take charge okay take actions towards walking away shifting making those changes in your love life but first and foremost you need to walk away from this connection some of you even if you walked away from this connection if your energy is still stuck you haven't actually cut it off energetically you still think a lot about them you still hope for a reconciliation you still hope for this person to come back you still hope for this person to reach out to you, uh, to choose you, Virgo, mm. you have to cut that, off, cut that off and walk away now. Another thing I'm seeing here, I'm not trying to give anybody, um, I'm not trying to give anybody false hopes. Okay, sometimes the emperor can indicate somebody stepping up. Perhaps you walk, you you just need to think this is done, this is over, and you need to walk away without hoping for anything, without expecting for anything, without trying to manipulate. It has to come from your heart, the temperance. Um, it has to come from the sincerest place in your heart that you are definitely walking away, and this is not a front. This is not a front. You have to really uh, show that or it has to come from your heart. Um, it cannot be a front. It cannot be a way of manipulating somebody to be with you or somebody to choose you or somebody to come back. You have to truly believe that this is what you're going to do. And it is set. It is confirmed. And you mean it, okay? It does feel the emperor. It can indicate that this person might step up, okay? And possibly come back around in due time. 
But right now, you just got to believe that this is what you're going to do and it is final, okay? Um, I don't want to give anybody false hopes, but this is supposed to be your divine counterpart. Oh, I just got some flashbacks here, okay? In that other reading that I posted, it did say that the connection was very complicated. It is very complicated. Both of you are supposed to be a true match, divine counterpart. But why is it so hard? There's something coming in between the two of you, okay? Again, it could be someone else. It could be because of family, because of money, because of anything, whatever, okay? But Virgo, just believe, believe that this is, even though you know or you think this is the right person for you, but you have to believe that they're not, okay? You have to trick your mind into thinking that this person is not. Because it says right here, right now, whoever this person is, is not for you, okay? If this person is not going to take all of your boxes uh even if you think that they do maybe potentially they will because again i do read the emperor as somebody who steps up okay somebody who might change who might take responsibilities who might commit who might choose you all of that good stuff but right now at this moment they're not okay they're not somebody whom is whom fulfills all of your needs Home is going to make you happy, feel happy. But maybe in the future, they will. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm like, ugh. Okay. So the temperance here indicates you needing to wait, needing to be patient. But also, again, Virgo, you need to trick your mind into thinking that this is not the right person for you and walk away. Because right now, at this moment, energetic energetically they are not the right person for you okay this i can see else they won't be making you cry three swords not swords of one verse else they won't make you feel so low so down else they, they won't make you feel like they're as as though that there is no hope for uh both of you to be together to reconcile so right now this moment energetically this person is not the right person for you but maybe in the future they could be the right person for you because I can't, I can't, I can't turn a blind eye on how the emperor and the empress are supposed to be a divine counterpart, okay? That these two are meant to be together forever. But Virgo, I don't want you to hang on to this connection and uh, put your life on hold, okay? Eight of Wands indicates you needing to make this shift you have to, you could be the only person who has control of yourself, the outcome for yourself, for this to happen. But again, Virgo, you need to do it in a way where it is sincere, comes from your heart, and that you mean it. You mean to really walk away from this person you don't want to look back don't look back look at the eight of cups here this person isn't looking back i don't want you to hold on to hope any hope that this person will return this is how you should i feel okay this i would like to suggest this is how you trick your mind into uh, believing that this is not going to happen as in this is not the right person for you and this person is never going to come back and you are really going to walk away from this person, okay? And I do see, this is part of the little bit of prediction, that this person actually might, might, just might step up in due time, okay? Um, but you cannot hope for it, you cannot wait for it, okay? 801 side, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving forward. Turn out swords and movers, keep releasing. Don't wait for anybody. And from these two last cards here, I feel like Virgo, when this person is ready to step up, finally, you may not even be interested anymore. You may, you may truly have moved on you would have truly been moved on okay and you you might end up choosing someone else okay that's what i'm seeing here Virgo, let's pull out more cards here <sighs> okay three of cups and my verse the high persists i know it it 
it sounds contradicting like it's like some of you may feel like i need to have faith that this person is coming back but the thing is i feel like that strategy doesn't work that stra strategy doesn't work it's it repels even more um hope that makes sense because maybe it's too much because the emperor sometimes although it's a good empress empress is giving nurturing but empress just like how children see their parents as controlling try like hovering over them um, but actually of course the parents care you know want to take care of the children um, it's for their best interest but Virgo right now this moment um, maybe you embodying the empress it might feel suffocating for a certain person right um, lose that control yeah let go of that control the death of the empress here okay and the queen of wands instead of you embodying the empress embody the queen of wands instead be confident about yourself be confident about taking this action putting the nails in the coffin and move on and walk away okay don't expect anything else in return don't wait um, meditate temperance for me can be a meditation card same goes to the two of swords here some of you i like to suggest you to meditate okay and then the hermit here is your energy so the hermit usually comes out after like a breakup feeling very lonely reflecting isolation solitary three of cups here is in reverse hmm I still feel like Virgo, this is somebody, this, this reading is for those of you, really right now this moment, I know it sucks because it's the, it's, it's the holidays um, season, it's the holiday season and you're going through this feeling sad, feeling neglected, um, the high person is feeling lonely, feeling kind of lost, Okay, again, Virgo, this reading is not for those of you happy in your love life right now, okay? Maybe this is why I'm here. This is why you're watching this video, okay? But I feel like, Virgo, it's time to let go, move on from this person because I do see, I hate to say this because I don't want to give false hopes, but I do see somebody coming back around. I do see somebody stepping up, okay? But in due time, and it feels like it's going to take a while before that happens, okay? For those of you currently actively broken up, separated, okay? Eight of Wands, again, there's there's this shift. Some of you, Virgo, um, look at these two queens facing each other. Should I follow my heart or should I follow my passion? Um, it could be this choice that you need to make, right? I feel like Virgo, maybe it's you stepping up you yourself stepping up to becoming the emperor right you manning up whether you're a male or female okay embody more of this slightly masculine energy just just for this period of period of time okay because the emperor is definitely harder right look at the the boots they are metal so harder stronger so some of you just got to be harder and stronger in order to walk away from this situation from this connection i feel like this reading again is for those of you who are separate separated right now broken up because either you're being put in a third party situation or your person could be very selfish could be a liar could be a cheater could be a sneak a sneak <laughs> somebody who is sneaky okay take advantage of you or taking you for granted it's time to move on from this person okay give them the silent treatment with the high priestess here there's nothing else to talk about there's nothing else to say there's nothing else to say virgo zip it and just move on put your head bring your head up high oh, put your head um up high okay hold your head up high <laughs> um and move forward save yourself some respect 
and move on from this person, okay? I do see them stepping up, coming back around, but Virgo, you first need to walk away, okay? Queen of Cups, somebody who needs to love herself. You need to love yourself. Doesn't matter again, he or she, not gender specific. Eight of Wands is like fast movement card, move on. Also, it looks like a list. Write down a list of what, of what you want to do next, okay? In terms of your goals in life, what do you want to achieve? Could also be you writing down what type of partner do you think you deserve, okay? And for, sometimes... We are not perfect either. What are the things that we need to do to be better, okay? And the Empress here, the, the problem with the Empress, I do love the Empress. The problem with the Empress is even though very caring, very nurturing, very giving, but also can be a little bit, you know, controlling uh, because the Empress is also quite a controlling energy. If done incorrectly, the Empress can appear to be somebody too controlling, overbearing, okay? So some of you could be reflecting on that with the hermit. You know that you deserve to be treated like the empress, but why aren't you being treated as the empress? Because I feel like Virgo, maybe when you give somebody too much, they're not going to appreciate it it's almost like just giving you an example if you if you receive something for free on the left side and then on the right side you actually had to work so hard for it you paid so much money for this thing um you got one free thing and one that's super expensive that you paid for which one are you good which one are you going to appreciate more which item are you going to appreciate more? The one that you got for free or the one that you work really hard for? Even though, even though maybe the free thing is better than the thing that you actually work so hard for, okay? So this is what I'm seeing here, Virgo. Maybe there's somebody here who doesn't appreciate you because you give it to them for free. They haven't worked hard for it, hard enough for it, okay? So it's time to retrieve. Now the hermit. It's time to pull back your energy. Cut them off, block them, whatever you need to do. Three of cups in one verse. I'm not gonna hee hee ha ha with you anymore. I'm gonna move on. Okay, Virgo. I hope this reading helps. I really, really hope so. And it truly sucks to be in this holiday season. Um, supposed to be a happy time for you to be in this isolation mode, to, for you to be feeling the sad three of swords here, feeling alone again, feeling as though, um, like you're not celebrating, right? Three of Cups is a celebration card. You're not celebrating, you're keeping to yourself the high priestess. Um, your sadness, your despair, Ten of Swords here, Emma first, hiding it from people. It truly sucks, Virgo. This is the this is the reading only for those of you who are sad right now, going through a tough time during this holiday season, Virgo. But yes, Eight of Cups saying walk away. Now Cups and Lovers, this person is not for you right now. Okay, this person doesn't tick all of your boxes. This person doesn't make you happy. This person is not for you right now. Maybe it will change. But right now, no, this person is not meant for you at this, in this period of time, in this chapter, not the right person for you. Time to move on. They might step up one day. We don't know when, but don't wait for it. Okay, Virgo, just keep moving on. This is your reading. I hope you resonated. I hope it helped you in some way, shape or form. If it did, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to all of my other channels. Um, yeah, I go live on my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. That's where I would also do personal readings, but it's not free. It's uh, super chat only. There's no, no uh, specific amount. It's more like for me to kind of help those who don't really have the budget 
okay because to book me for a private reading is definitely way pricier than to opt for a personal reading during my live stream but anyway Virgo don't forget to also hit on the bell notification button if you don't want to miss any of your readings here on this channel take care Virgo and happy holidays stay safe be well and everything is gonna be okay love you bye